I'm Adriana Bailey, and I'm an atmospheric scientist at the National Center for Atmospheric Research, which we call NCAR. At NCAR, I'm part of the Research Aviation Facility, where we have two large aircraft that we use to fly instruments up into the air. Why study the atmosphere? It's the air we breathe. It's what brings us our moisture in the form of rain or snow. It's also what shapes our weather and climate. By putting instruments on planes and flying them up into the air, we can get a much more accurate picture about the atmosphere and its physical state. Like, how warm or cold is it? How is it set in motion? How polluted is it? Some of the probes that we fly measure cloud water and cloud particles, and so that allows us to characterize both the macro and the microphysical state of the clouds. Those kinds of observations, when we pair them with theory, give us the benchmarks that we need to evaluate our numerical weather and climate simulations. We're continually trying to improve those simulations to make sure that we can get the most accurate forecasts. This time last year, we were busy getting ready to fly through developing cumulus over the Great Plains in order to look at ice crystal formation in those clouds and how that could influence precipitation. This year, one of our campaigns is gonna take us high over the Pacific Ocean, where we'll be looking at ozone loss and how that could be related to iodine chemistry.